we'd be explaining the economic conditions that created the golden age of pirates. Piracy on the high seas had been a thing as long as people have been shipping resources and wealth on the boats. The Romans were fighting pirates in the Mediterranean in the days of Julius Caesar, who himself was captured by pirates. Arr. Pirates operate under the idea that it's easier to attack and plunder on the seas where you have a greater chance of escaping. When the Spanish first arrived in the Americas, they were disappointed by the amount of gold they found on the shores of the islands in the Caribbean. They forced natives to find gold or pay a tax and to build in the Spanish stockpiles. It was when the Spanish arrived on the mainland in Central and South America that the fortunes of their empire changed. Riches were abundant in the interiors. In Panama especially, the Spanish found treasure troves of gold and precious gems. The Incan Empire became a major Spanish silver reserve, and the Aztec Empire was loaded with gold. However, native folklore inspired the explorers to search for cities of gold and fountains of youth. Chibola was the reason Coronado journeyed through Kansas and Davaca through the Gulf Coast to search for booty. Spain's control of the wealth of the Caribbean gave it the name the Spanish Main. With the wealth came the need for the other growing empires to steal it, to enrich themselves, and to slow the Spanish Empire down. State-sponsored pirates from England, France, and the Netherlands were known as privateers or buccaneers. They were tasked from their governments with playing the role of floating disruptors. Arr. Later, these government agents be working for themselves to plunder and keep the Spanish wealth, opening up the gold age. The Spanish built well-protected forts from Florida St. Augustine to the Arenco River in Venezuela. The buccaneers hit the supplies and transport to the forts or when they took off to the sea. French colonies like Tartuga provided loose law enforcement and became havens of pirates. To keep order on the ships filled with individuals committed to deviant acts, Different ships used pirate codes. Some called for bedtime at 8 o'clock, as well as an 8 o'clock prohibition on drinking and gambling. They talked to pirate honor to each other and safe behavior on a ship. They even paid out communal money for injury. Some of the most notable pirates were Henry Morgan, who used his Port Royal Plantation as a launching point. Sir Francis Drake launched a devastating attack on Santa Domingo. Santa Domingo was the center of the Spanish Caribbean government in La Audencia. Drake and his men arrived January 1st, 1586, and began a large scale destruction, killing, burning churches, defiling all things Catholic. They demanded a ransom to leave the city, and then he moved on to Cartagena. Between 1623 and 1638, the pirates hit 500 Spanish treasure ships. After peace treaties, privateering was forbidden leading many of them to go rogue. Men like Edward Teach or Blackbeard raided colonies in the Carolina. <laughs>